What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. So today I thought I'd pick up the camera and take y'all on what I eat throughout the day today. I know y'all really enjoy these types of videos and it really helps y'all throughout y'all's journey. So I don't have much to do today. Today is Monday, I'm just getting the week started. All I have to do today is run a few errands and a little bit of things throughout the house and I will just take y'all on a day of what I eat throughout today. So. I know I'm supposed to have my carb update on Mondays. I told you about my carb updates that I'm having, but I actually ended up having it yesterday. So today is just going to be a full day of eating for y'all for keto, strictly keto foods. Um, I know a lot of y'all had questions on that. So what I'm doing is I've been doing keto for two years this month. I've been doing keto for a really long time. I have been fat adapted for a really long time and I've lost a lot of weight. Recently, it's been a little bit harder for me to lose a few pounds just because I've already lost a big amount of weight and I knew that was going to happen. Eventually, you would have to stall and you would have to start making some changes. So what I'm doing is called cyclical keto and basically it's kind of like carb up day. But you do, I don't do it with bad carbs. I do with whole healthy carbs, very healthy carbs for you. So um, not like going out and eating fast food and all that bad stuff and all that sugar. Um, I'm trying to do it the right way. I've been working out. This is actually going to be my fourth week starting today. Um, I work out Monday through Friday. So I'm trying to get a little bit more carbs into my body because I am going to be burning those carbs anyways. Um, if y'all, you know, want to know more, I'm still learning about it myself, so I'm trying to get the hang of it. Eventually, if y'all want to see my carb updates on like what I'm eating, I can show y'all. I'm just trying to get the hang of it myself, see if it's working for me. Um, I'm not really worried about my weight. I know it's going to keep jumping a little bit. You know, it'd be nice to lose a few pounds, but I'm really concentrating on my inches. I'm concentrating on my waist because I'm working out. I'm concentrating on building muscle. So that's really what I'm looking into right now. But I did end up having that carb up day yesterday. This is only my twice twice two second time doing it so i'm really trying to get into that process of doing things i'm not you know trying not to explain it to y'all i'm just really trying to get into it myself um you know i'm still on my journey y'all are coming along with me i've lost a lot of weight i've shown y'all my weight loss um so now i need to take that next step and see what kickstarts my body and see what works for me so hopefully it works and i see some progress and i see i already know i'm building muscle because i can feel it i'm like ooh your leg look a slick girl no i feel it a little bit i feel it in my arms my waist i'm losing like i could tell like it's getting a little bit like less bloated i mean i guess it's the fat loss but my weight's still not moving but i could see that there's a little bit of inches coming down and i know my arms are gaining muscle in my legs so i'm getting toned and that's good because that's what i'm working for i'm working my butt off i'm working out monday through friday I do, I do lift weights every day. I do like um, a couple sets, like different things, lifting it with the barbell that I had showed y'all like way back when, when I got that bar. Um, but like every day I kind of do like a different set of workouts. So like Monday, I do full body. So it'd be like full body workouts. Tuesday, I do cardio and abs. Wednesday, I do, I think, I believe it's legs and booty. So like I do different things every day. So that's what I'm working for. I've been working my butt off. It's hard, guys. It's hard. I don't like to work out. I mean, I do like once I get in the routine, but I'm like everybody else. Like, I don't want to get up and work out, you know, like later on. That's why I do it like later on throughout the day at night because I feel like I have more energy throughout the day. But besides that, guys. So yesterday I did end up having my carb up day. So I'm not too hungry. Like I still feel kind of full. So on these days where I'm not too hungry, like I'm not, I'm hungry, but not overly hungry to where I, I want to make myself a big breakfast. Y'all know my go-to is the protein keto coffee. So for those of y'all that seen my videos before, y'all know I always get like a meal replacement shake and mix it with my iced coffee. For those of y'all that haven't seen it, this is an awesome like on the go replacement meal if you don't want some breakfast or you don't have time to make breakfast and you really need something, this will be your go-to. So that's what I'm gonna whip up right now. And honestly, I need to put up some clothes. 
I have mom things to do. I need to put up laundry. I was supposed to do it yesterday. And we were having like problems like here in my house with like our electricity. I don't know what happened. And we had actually had people early this morning come and check it out. So the day just flew by yesterday. I had meal prep. I had it like me and my husband were trying to figure out what was going on with our electricity thing. And I didn't get to put up clothes and do some things that I needed to do around the house. So that's what I have to do today. But let's go whip up this coffee. Okay, so I usually keep my Premier Protein Shakes right here. I actually bought the coffee one this week and I have one cinnamon one left. But I'm just gonna use the coffee one. This one reminds me of like, I don't know if y'all tried the Honey Smack cereal. I don't know why it reminds me of it, but it's so good. Okay guys, so y'all know I'm tracking, but I don't know why this Car Manager app is not wanting to open. It's like staying like this and I keep, I actually got a new phone in yesterday. So this is a new phone and I really wanted to show y'all how I need to transfer all my macros to this new one because I had this, this was my old phone and it was like turning pink, like the screen was burning out. So I got a new one, but I really need to enter my macro since the car, like the man, the app started all over. And if I can get it open, I'll show y'all how to input y'all's macros into this car manager app. But I don't know why it's not loading, but hopefully it works in a little bit. Okay, so I got it open and it actually still has my macro saved on here, I guess, because when you log into your account. But let me show you how to do it anyways. So when you get your ma your macros calculated, I use rule.me and you go down to the keto calculator. I have an older video on it. Um, it's called how to calculate my macros. And you go to rule.me, you go to the keto calculator, enter all your information and it will give you your macros. It'll give you your fat, your protein, and then the net carbs will always be 20. But when you go to carb manager, you click these dots, then you go to settings and where is it at? You go to macros. So this will be your profile information, like your height, your year, your starting weight, your current weight, all that good stuff. And then you go to macros. And right here, you wanna enter your calories that it's gonna give you. So mine was 1408. So whatever your calories are that you find out, enter it right here. And then you go down and you're going to click I know like they have different options right here where it says keto, but I don't know why. Sometimes it'll like change it automatically for you. And then it won't be like your macros that you ended up getting calculating. So I like to go to custom grams and then you just customize all of it. So right here you would enter the 20 net carbs. And then right here you would enter your protein intake. Right here you enter your fat and then you click apply my macros and that is literally it. And it'll apply your macros for you. And then you go back, you save it, you go all the way back and it'll have it right here. So whenever you start entering all your food, so breakfast, you click the plus sign. I'm going to enter um, like my, so I, I like to scan everything. So right here, I'll take my Premier Protein that I'm going to have right now. And I am going to just scan the barcode and it'll bring it up for you. So... Sorry if you hear my dog. So it is 11 ounces. Sometimes it'll have like different measurements. Like I'll go by cups or tablespoons for like specific things. But this one's going by ounces. So I'm going to have the whole shake. So it's going to be two net carbs for total carbs, two grams of fiber, three grams of fat, and 30 grams of protein, 160 calories. And then you just click the check and it'll go where right here where it says breakfast. Now the coffee I'm having is black coffee so it's not gonna add anything, but anything else you add, you can just scan or you could even um, search it right here. So oh, just search it by the name or whatever. It'll be like Premier Protein Coffee and it'll pop it up. It'll help pop up like different flavors or you know, all the ones that they have. So it's very easy to use. Okay, so when you use your coffee, you could use any black coffee or unsweetened iced coffee that you want. Just make sure it's unsweetened. Y'all saw I just got this on my grocery haul. So I tried it yesterday and it was really good. I actually liked it. It says not too sweet because it does actually have like a little sweet taste to it. I don't know. I was surprised. I actually like it better than the Starbucks. I'm really impressed by it so this is probably the one that I'm going to be getting from now on I know y'all had seen that I had tried that Dunkin Donut one too but they don't have that one in my HEB 
Um, they actually had that one on Kroger and I've been shopping at H-E-B lately more. So I'm just going to stick with this one. This is the stock code Brew Coffee, low and slow. It's bold and smooth in black. So you want to make sure your iced coffee is always unsweetened if you buy it pre-made like this. And then I just fill up a little bit of ice and I always put a cup of my ice of my coffee. I usually just fill it up to my end, but you can measure it out. I just put a cup in here just like that because it measures it out pretty good in this cup that I always use. And then you're going to get your Premier Protein Shake and whatever flavor that you want. I always change up my flavors. Y'all know that. This is the Cafe Latte flavor. It's so good. So I just pour the whole thing in there and just let it drip all the way down. Gotta get everything out of there. Expensive. <laughs> so whatever flavor you use, they will range in net carbs. Um, all the flavors are different. I don't think I've seen one more than like three. Um, I know the oats ones, they have the oats. My husband likes those. Those are higher. Those are about six net carbs. So I just stick with the basic flavors. So I usually put this like this, but I'm actually going to sweeten it up just a bit. I'm going to put my stevia drops in here. This doesn't add no carbs or anything. I just put a squirt. This is optional. You don't have to, but I like my coffee sweet. Now, if you want to add more fat to this, I usually would, but today I'm not. You can add a splash of heavy whipping cream. You can add like a tablespoon and that will up your fat instead of it just being like protein mostly. And then just shake it up. And this is going to be breakfast, guys. Easy peasy. Great when you're on the go and you don't have time to make breakfast. Or you're not really that hungry. You just want to sip on this. So before I start doing all my fun mom things, <laughs> I actually um, usually sit down every morning on YouTube and reply to all y'all's comments and I need to update the 90 day update, sorry, the 90 day no cheat challenge chart for y'all. Um, I need to go and check everybody's names off that checked in yesterday and I believe the day before because I had some things to do the day before. Um, y'all are doing amazing i will show y'all here in a bit y'all's names on the chart and stuff um just let me update it real fast but y'all are doing so good we are almost to 50 days of the no cheat challenge i know some of y'all had some slip ups and guys that is totally fine um the challenge is to not have a cheat for 90 days and i know you know thank y'all for admitting that some of y'all did slip up but even if you slip up guys keep going keep going just because you slip up once you know for the uh the challenge doesn't mean that you have to stop there because you know you slipped up on the challenge keep going the next day it's always a new day you know you made a mistake or you know you want to start all overs and you're really really trying to hit that 90 days you know do it for yourself just keep going uh, you don't have to stop i know it's hard um because i've done this twice i've done two 100 days so I know it's hard. Um, I did it when I first started like my keto journey. Um, I, I was like doing keto for a while, losing weight. And I really wanted to challenge myself because I was having like a cheat every now and then. And I really wanted to like hit specific goals. So I had saw like people doing this challenge. I don't know, it was like a long time ago in like a keto group where they did like just challenges and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do a 100 day no cheat challenge. So I did it for myself and I hit it. And it made big progress for me because it was like barely like me starting out my journey. So I was like losing all that weight when I first started and it made like big progress for me. So then I succeeded at the 100 days and then I think the holidays came around and I kept having a few cheats here and there again for like Christmas and Thanksgiving and all that stuff. Sorry, my son had came in saying that he was thirsty. <laughs> um okay, so the, like the holidays came around and I was like, "No, I don't want to gain weight so i ended up challenging myself to another 100 days so i've done 200 day challenges and i know how challenging it can be because it really puts you to that test but when you succeed at that you're like oh this is easy i can go you know more days without cheating and then when you realize if you have a cheat like it's just not worth it like you realize you know it's not as good or you've just came so long in your progress already and you don't want to do those cheats so y'all have been doing really good um 
I'm gonna sit here on my computer, reply to a lot of comments. I have been getting so much love. Um, so I try to take at least, you know, a break throughout my day and come and reply to y'all's, all y'all's comments. Sometimes I can't get to them as soon as, you know, possible. There's just so much and I really do appreciate all the love that y'all have been showing. So I'm going to reply to some comments and then I will show y'all the updated 90 day no cheat challenge right here in a second. All right guys, I updated the 90 day true to yourself challenge chart. If y'all have been checking in since day one, your name is on here, I promise. Some of y'all have had some slip ups and I do keep track. Just be true to yourself. That is the whole challenge. If you do have a slip up, it's okay. Just keep going. Y'all are doing awesome. We are, today is actually day 47. So y'all are doing amazing. We're almost, almost there. I can't believe we're almost to 50 days. It's just crazy. It flew by so fast. Okay, so before I start putting up laundry, my kids are at school, so some of y'all know that I still have the baby here at home. I'm gonna give him something to do so he's not just bored while I put up clothes and do some things I need to do. So, I'm going to make him some moon sand, and for those of y'all that have kids, maybe y'all, this will be a good idea to keep your kids busy here at home. I'm gonna show you how I do it. So, I get a tote. Any tote that you don't use, and usually when I'm done with it, I'll just put the little top so it stays good. Um, in the tote, I have eight cups of flour, and to your flour, you're going to add one cup of baby oil. This is the baby oil I'm using. Any baby oil will work. You just throw in one cup into the flour, and it makes an awesome moon sand. So after you mix one cup of baby oil in, just get like a spoon or use your hand. And you have to yourself some nice moon sand for your kids to keep them distracted. You can see that it like sticks together. And guys, it's like really easy cleanup. So I just put like some little trucks in here or like some little um, beach stuff that you have at home. And I let him play outside with it right here by my back door. I'll show y'all here in a minute. And he, it just keeps him distracted for a little bit. And I just put it outside right here. He'll bring a couple of toys and I'll put like a little plastic cup in there. So he builds stuff and he just plays right here. I leave the door open. I literally fold clothes right there. And it keeps him distracted for a couple hours. And he enjoys it. Okay, so I put up all my laundry and literally the whole time my son stayed out playing with the moon sand. So y'all do that if moms, if y'all are busy, y'all need to get y'all's kids distracted. I swear they will stay out there forever. But I put up all my laundry. Now I have to run errands. It's like one. It's 104. I have to run errands. I have to go to the bank really quickly. I have to go to HB to pick up something real fast. And then y'all know I got a new phone. I actually, I love this case. But before that case, I had got this case in and it came like damaged as y'all can see. So I have to go return this at Kohl's. If y'all didn't know, Kohl's has like an Amazon center that you can return items to. And it's literally like right here. So I'm gonna go return that case since I got this. I like this one better anyways, it's really cute. Since I got this one. So I have to go return that. And I think that's it. And as soon as I come back home, I'm gonna make some lunch. Cause I'm hungry now. Well, I drink the coffee so I'm good right now, but I know when I get back, I'm probably gonna be hungry. So as soon as we get back, I will make some lunch. All right guys, so first stop is the bank. Say hi daddy. <laughs> just smiles all right guys so we stopped by the bank and then i already returned my item to kohl's and when you return your item to kohl's they give you if you go through the amazon they give you a 25 percent off coupon but you can only use it like on kohl's brand and like not nike and adidas so whenever i come i always get like a shirt that's just on sale so i just got like a long sleeve basic v-neck shirt in the like a, what Okay, I'll get your cup. Sorry, guys. I always, I got like a long sleeve v-neck basic blue fall color. And it was on sale for $10. And then I used the 25% off coupon and it was only $8. So I always just like get something small because you can only use that coupon within like seven days. And I don't come to Kohl's because Kohl's is pricey. I don't know who shops at Kohl's. I don't. They're expensive. Like this shirt, just like a regular v-neck shirt was originally like $20. And it was on sale for 10 bucks and I just got it for eight bucks, but that's expensive. They are crazy up in there. So I only come to Kohl's and like spend that little coupon every now and then. But all right, I have to head to H-E-B and then we are going to head home. 
Okay guys, so just got back from HEB and while I was in there, I decided to grab me a quick lunch. I was in the aisle, I saw it, so I was like, why not just give it a try? Cause I actually have to go pick up my kids here in a few minutes from school. They get out at 3.15, it is 2.30. So I just decided to grab me a quick lunch. Now some of y'all might've heard of these before. I've seen them, I've just never really grabbed them. I'm just someone that just makes stuff here at home and I don't really buy stuff like pre-made. But I saw these real good pizzas, if y'all have heard of them. Um, I tried one a long time ago. I honestly don't even remember how they taste. So Real Good Brand is just like a brand that makes low carb items, like freezer items. I've heard mixed reviews about their things. I've heard that they had good foods and I've heard that some of them aren't that good. So we're gonna give this pizza a try. Now they do have a cauliflower crust. It's higher in carbs. Um, not too bad, but I'm trying to keep them low. So I grabbed the, it's a chicken and Parmesan crust. I grabbed the Supreme, they have a pepperoni, but they were out. So I just decided to take this one. It has mozzarella cheese, sauce, vegetables, sausage, and uncured pepperoni on a chicken breast, uh, chicken and Parmesan crust. It's four net carbs, let me see, for half a pizza. So serving size is half a pizza, there's two servings in here. So I'm just gonna eat half. I'll probably give the other half to my son. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, it says to place in the oven and bake for 27 to 30 minutes. We ain't got time for that, so we putting this in the air fryer. I love to put everything in the air fryer. So we're gonna give this a try today for lunch. Got my handy dandy Ninja grill here, it air fries. I'm just gonna turn it on, air crisp, and let it heat through. And also another thing, look what I found at HEB, Lily's. Y'all know I am ride or die with Lily's chocolate bars. They're just my favorite. They came out with their holiday edition, so I snatched all of them. They came out with three of them. So I'm excited to try these. So it says Lily's Mocha Hot, Hot Cocoa. This is probably the one I'm most excited about. Um, let's see, I believe all of them are two net carbs for like, I don't know, they might have changed. 13 total, 9 dietary, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, erythritol, 4, I'm terrible at math, so let me subtract this real quick. Oh, it's zero net carbs, zero net carbs, so it's, thir it's 13 total carbs minus dietary fiber, which is 9, minus erythritol, which is 4, so zero net carbs for this hot cocoa one, so I'm excited to try that one. Next, we have, sorry if you hear the air fryer heating up. So we have the gingerbread flavor. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So they range in different carbs. So let's do the gingerbread one. So 17 total carbs, nine for the fiber and four for the erythritol. So it's four net carbs for half a serv half servings bar. So there's about two servings in here it says. So four net carbs for the gingerbread one. Then they came out with the peppermint white chocolate style. I don't know. I like mint, but my husband would probably like this one more. I'm most excited for the gingerbread and the hot cocoa. This one is 17 total carbs, subtract 7 dietary fiber, and 7 erythritol, which is 3 net carbs for this one, for a serving size. So the hot cocoa is zero, so I'm going to go for this one probably tonight. I don't know. We'll give them a try tonight, but I'm excited. But if y'all love Lily's bars as much as I do, get y'all's hands on these. They're really really good for their reg regular like chocolate bars i absolutely love those okay so this is what the pizza looks like it's small guys it's like the size of my hand so i'm gonna unpackage this the air fryer is done heating and we're gonna heat it up okay so i finished air frying the pizza i put it in there for like almost 20 minutes i wish the bottom would have got a little bit more crispier i don't know i'm gonna test it out and let y'all know how it goes it's my first time trying it but to up my fat, I do have two tablespoons of ranch on the side. So I'm going to very quickly eat half of this pizza. And then we are going to head out to pick up my boys. Okay, guys. So I finished the pizza. I have, like, mixed reviews on it. Like, the the toppings are good. But I feel like the crust, I wish to, it gets, like, a little bit more crispier. Because it kind of has, like, a soft, like, texture to it. It wasn't that great. Like, I wouldn't buy it again. But it wasn't terrible. Um, I just don't buy stuff like that, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, maybe if you do cook it in the oven, maybe it'll just give a nice crispier texture, but I feel like the air fryer is the same thing. Like I should crisp it up. I don't know. It was okay. I think I would put it like on a rack maybe 
to give it like more of a crispy texture. But since it is like a chicken crust, it releases a little bit of water. I don't know, it's weird. It wasn't terrible, but I don't know. I wouldn't buy it again, but I'm full. I only ate half that pizza and it filled me up. So if y'all have given them a try, let me know what y'all thought in the comments below. I don't know, I was kind of mixed on it, but I actually have to head out already, pick up my boys from school. I'm gonna drink this whole bottle of water because I am thirsty. My son's trying to put on his shoes and he's mad because he can't put them on. But all right, guys, I will see y'all back in a bit. All right, guys, I got home just a few minutes ago. And y'all know when these kids come home from school, it's time to eat for them. So got them some snacks, see what else they need, drinks, all the fun stuff. But now I have to wait till my husband gets out of work. He doesn't get out till 5. So I usually start dinner like around 4.30. Until then, I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Do what I have to do, get a little bit comfortable, and wait till dinner. Today we are going to be having some, I'm eating low carb tortillas today. I don't often, I usually have them like once every couple weeks. Um, but I was craving tacos, so I'm going to be making some low carb tacos on some low carb tortillas. Just with ground beef, taco seasoning, all the good stuff with a side of crushed chips. So that's what we are going to be having for dinner today, so I will get started here in a bit. So while I cook dinner for my kids and watch Snapped, because I'm always watching murder shows. <laughs> I'm always watching murder shows. Does anybody else do that? I am going to have myself a second cup of coffee. It's going to be hot coffee. Uh, it's not going to add no net carbs or anything, so I don't really have to calculate it. But just thought I'd let y'all know I have at least two cups of coffee a day. I've told y'all before. I try not to have more than three but your girl needs to get through the day i need some coffee so i'm gonna have my second cup of coffee just add nothing extra i'm just gonna add a little bit of stevia to sweeten it up and maybe like a splash of some jordan skinny syrup oh and probably like a little splash of heavy whipping cream just to add a little bit of creaminess all right, so boys are fed, and now it's time to start making dinner. My husband will be here soon. Um, so guys, literally, I am making the easiest tacos for dinner on low-carb tortillas. So I'm just going to brown this ground beef with some taco seasoning, salt, pepper, a little bit of other spices if you want to add that in. And warm up your tortillas, slap on some toppings, and you have some dinner. Easy peasy. So I'm just going to get started on browning this ground beef. Just browning my meat, and I'm going to go in with some pink salt and pink, pink peppercorn by Flavor God. And then I'm going to use Flavor God's taco seasoning today. Now I like to drain my meat halfway through cooking and then I put it back in there, I let it cook longer and I add a little bit more seasoning. These are the low carb tortillas I'm using today. I got these from HEB. They're three net carbs each so I'm only eating one today and then when my husband gets here I'll warm him up some. But I haven't tried these before. Um, my brothers, my brothers, my husband's brother says they're really good so I'm going to try them out. There's usually the other ones that I get from Kroger, but I've been shopping at H-E-B. H-E-B does have their own brand of low-carb tortillas, but I really want to try these out. Okay, so I warmed up my tortilla. Now I'm going to add three ounces of ground beef. That's close enough. I'm going to put this inside my taco. I'm going to add two tablespoons of Mexican-style cheese, some shredded lettuce, and some cilantro. I'm going to use this salsa. You can use any salsa that you like. Going to be adding one ounce of avocado. I left a little piece of skin on there. I got to take that off. And then lastly, I'm going to add a tablespoon of sour cream. All right, guys. And here is my taco. I promise you this one taco will fill me up. And I'm going to have this with a bag of Quest chips and some water. So let me show y'all my macros. So this was earlier for lunch. This I just added a tablespoon into my coffee. So I added some fat. Now for dinner right here, we have the low carb tortilla, the ground beef, the cheese, the sour cream. The bag of Quest chips is for net carbs and then some avocado. I don't keep track of lettuce and all that good stuff, all the vegetables. So, so far I've had 17 net carbs, 
71 grams of fat and 105 grams of protein. So doing really good so far. I've been really tracking. So this is dinner and I am just going to sit down and enjoy dinner really quickly before my husband gets home. These are the quest chips I'm going to be having. This is the loaded taco flavor. They're four net carbs for the whole bag. They have other flavors. They have ranch, cheddar, this one. Uh, I believe one more, but I can't remember it. Um, this happens to be my favorite one. I absolutely love them. They're kind of pricey, but they're well worth it for every once in a while. I like to have those with like burgers, tacos, things like that. So yeah, um, if y'all have never tried these, these are a really, really good. Also for like making some keto nachos. All right guys, I finished dinner and I am stuffed. I didn't finish the whole bag of chips. I'm gonna slowly eat them um, because I started packing my husband's brother's lunch. That's good family right there. He does keto as well. So I always feed him because him and my husband work together. So I'm just waiting for my husband to get home so I feed him. And I packed his brother's lunch with three tacos, avocado, lettuce, and all the works. We gotta wait for them to get home so they can enjoy their dinner too. Babe is home from work. What's up, guys? Oh my. He loves her more than me. <laughs> she cries for him all day. Oh, she's a pretty girl. Those are my kisses. Don't give him no. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to work out. Today is Monday, so we are doing full body workout. The boys are laying down. I bathe them, fed my husband. Husband showered, he's laid down. He goes to sleep early because he leaves at like four in the morning to work. So kids are in bed for school. I edited this video y'all are watching right now because I have to do it, right? Who's gonna do it? My husband has to work. So I had to take time to edit a little bit. If not, it takes a while at night. So that's what I've been doing. I cleaned up my kitchen, um, kinda. I still have a few things to put up. And now it's time to work out. I have my sweet sweat belt on all it does is it helps you sweat more i have a gel underneath um their brand it enhances sweat on your stomach or like areas that you want to target i'll link it below in the description um if y'all want to check that out um but i really like it it really does help your stomach area sweat a lot so i've been using it since like the beginning of my journey i actually started out what size is this i think this is a medium i think i started out in a large and I went down to a medium, so this is what I use now. Um, sorry for all this craziness back here. This is our garage. As y'all know, I work out in my garage. This is the only place I can get. Um, so today is full bodies on Monday, and then I lift weights. So I told y'all the last time, but some of y'all still had questions on how I do it. So I follow Chloe, T Chloe Ting with the K. Chloe with the K, Ting, T-I-N-G. She is amazing. She posts nothing but workouts on her YouTube and literally workouts that you could follow step by step. So I go to her YouTube channel and I will look for a full body, a full body workout. So right here, I do this one. Um, hold on. It's Black Friday now. I know it's Black Friday. So I go to her YouTube and I'll just search like full body, like when I was first starting full body and I'll save the video. And then um, she literally just does step by step on what to do. And you can just follow her along the whole way. And I absolutely love it. So I'll do that. Today I'm doing her full 30 minute full body workout burn fat get abs kind of thing so i'll follow that the whole way and then i'll do some sets of weights and by the end of that i am like done it's a 30 minute workout um and then about 25 minutes to lift weights 25 another 30 minutes to lift weights so let's get to sweating i am ready for this ready trying to get mentally there <laughs> Once I'm in the routine, I actually love to work out now. I, I, look, I look forward to it. Some days I have it where I'm like, oh, dragging butt, but who doesn't, right? But I'm ready. Let's get to sweating. All right, guys, I did it. I feel good. Don't get me wrong. It kicked my butt. Y'all should have seen me earlier during the full body workout. I was like drenched in sweat and I still sweating like from lifting weights, but that full body workout kicks your butt especially since i'm in my garage like it's hot in there so i sweat even more which is really good i like it but i feel good i'm gonna let myself cool down for a minute i'm gonna take a shower and then after i am going to go to bed before i go to bed 
I am going to try out this, uh, just a serving of this Lily's Mocha Hot Chocolate Bar for y'all. Um, sometimes I have something sweet before bed. I haven't had nothing sweet like last week really. Um, so I'm just gonna try this out before I go to bed after I shower. All right, I am showered. I swept my floors, I finished cleaning my kitchen, and I mopped. I do have my waist trainer on. I just like to show y'all that I do wear this as I'm asleep. I wear it eight hours. Um, so basically I wear it all night until I wake up in the morning and take my kids to school. Um, I'll link it below with like the sweet sweat trainer, but I love waist trainers just to keep try to get a figure um slim down some inches on your waist and it just shapes you i really really like it i always see a difference but you have to stay consistent i'm always like consistent for a long time and then i'll fall off of it for a little bit and then i see the difference when i actually do fall off so i try to stay as consistent as i can in a waist trainer but i'll link it below okay so before i head to bed and finish editing this video we are going to try at least the Lily's Mocha Hot Cocoa Bar. I really just wanted to try it for y'all because I'm excited. I've been wanting to try it all day and I finally have the chance. So this is a zero net carb one. And I'm only just going to try it. I don't smell hot cocoa. I smell like chocolate but not like a hot cocoa like you. It is dark chocolate. It's 70% cocoa and it's stevia sweetens. It's dark and rich because they have like different chocolates. So this one's like sweet and creamy and they have like different other ones. So this one's like a dark chocolate one. So please taste like hot cocoa. <laughs> mm. It tastes like, yeah. Honestly, it tastes like hot cocoa at first and then I get like a coffee taste for some reason it tastes like a mix between hot cocoa and coffee but it's like good I want it to taste like hot cocoa and marshmallows <laughs> but honestly it tastes like a coffee hot cocoa it's good it's good I just wanted more of a hot cocoa, but I like it. I give it, out of a 10, I give it like an 8. Y'all try it, let me know what y'all think. To me, it tastes like hot cocoa and coffee. Mm. But I love the chocolate. Mm. It's good. It hits the spot. Should I try this one? No, I'm gonna wait. Because this one has like net carbs, and I don't want to go over my net carbs today. But 8 out of 10 for this Lily's Mocha Hot Cocoa. I get more of like a coffee hot cocoa taste and it has like a, what is in there? I don't know, it has like a little crunch to it. I feel like they're little pieces of like, I guess, I don't know, like bark in there or something, I don't know. It has like a slight little like texture to it, but it's really good. I just wish it tasted like hot cocoa and marshmallows. <laughs> But all right guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this what I eat in a day video. I am tired from this day. I'm just ready for bed. Um, so if y'all enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for awesome keto recipes and tips. And I will see y'all in my next video.